Hi friends, Pastor Jonathan here and hoping you are having a wonderful Holy Week. Our Holy Week here at Mount Zion got off to a wonderful start as we celebrated Palm Sunday. Many of you were here, you were waving your palm branches, you were shouting and singing Hosanna to the Son of David as our children led us in in a, in a joyful throng singing praise to King Jesus. Our celebration of Holy Week continues this week. On Thursday, we will have a Monday Thursday service. It will begin at seven o'clock. It is the service in which we remember the last supper of Jesus with his disciples. On Friday, we will have a Good Friday service and it'll also begin at seven o'clock. That service is the one in which we remember the death of Jesus by crucifixion. And as we go through that service, this the lighting in the sanctuary will gradually grow dimmer and dimmer and dimmer until finally the sanctuary is completely dark and we will depart in silence and in darkness. It's a way of remembering how the world would be without the light and the love of Christ. On Easter morning, though, we will celebrate the resurrection. We will begin at 7 o'clock with a sunrise service. If the weather cooperates, we will have our sunrise service out near the cemetery. And if the weather cooperates, bring your own chair that, that you'll be able to sit in during that sunrise service. If the weather doesn't cooperate, we'll have our sunrise service here in the sanctuary. Either way, we will, after the sunrise service, have a breakfast together in our gym that'll be prepared by our Boy Scouts. So we're thankful for that. So come early Sunday morning, celebrate the resurrection at Easter sunrise service, either inside or outside. Come and have breakfast with us. And then at 8.30 and 11 o'clock, we will have our Easter services here in the sanctuary. Those services will be identical. The same music, the same festive atmosphere, the same handbell choir, and the same celebration of our risen Lord. So we hope that you'll be able to come to most, if not all of these services this week, as we remember and give thanks for and celebrate the life-giving love of Jesus Christ and the power of his death and resurrection. God bless you.